hour and a half later, I've got almost all the way through it. And this is the final cut. Meteorite contains diamond and uh, called Lonzolite, especially Canyon Diablo is known for it. So it's a very, very hard cut. Almost there. There we go. Yeah. What we got here? Got a bad cut. That's a bad cut, man. But it's what I need. It is what I need. Alright. Cool, we got something to work with here. I started out with this, almost 80 grams, and I, this piece is down to 51. So I've sawed off quite a bit. There was a little bit of waste. This piece is pretty thin, I'm very happy that with such a wavy outer piece that I got a thin section because I could have messed up and poked a hole right here but there's one and maybe I'll make it oversized so I could probably get one maybe two more maybe a small one a third out so it's coming along nothing like a little sanding to take the edge off it hot very very quickly. Let's see if we can do that a little bit better. Woo! Okay, flying projectile. I was gonna say I could feel the uh, the power already, but that just might be saw shock. I'm all jittery from sawing. It makes you uh crazy after a while but that's art there it's a pretty big big thing too could use this indention maybe as an or ergonomic it's pretty big though it's as big as a base pick easily I would say it has a nice inclusion right here probably troy light graphite This is an end piece left over and I'm going to use my idea of a magnet to hold it 
when it gets hot. Probably work pretty good, it sticks really well. I'm gonna go with that. <clears throat> I like the rough design, and this has got a nice finish. Kind of raw. Can etch it. Not bad. And after a special etching process, we have this. Pitch to C sharp. <laughs> 